Hey yo, welcome back to MBK Reacts. When you guys episode number five to Ninja Kamui. Last episode we ended off. Hegan versus Zai is about to happen. Well, Reaper, Zai, whatever you want to call him. And I'm jumping straight into it because you already know Hegan's he's evading Aza right now because of the help of his former ally or enemy. We don't know yet. All we know is he knows the ninja poems of the organization. So he might be on our side, he might not. We don't know yet. But yeah, he's evading Aza right now. Ran into Zai at the end, and now they're about to go head up. I don't know if they're actually going to do the full fight, or it might be one of those things where they do a sneak peek of the fight, but then something happens where Zai has to leave, like the Reaper, because he's not supposed to be bite, fighting him right now. So he might have to go. And then we also got Mike and Emma. They're on their own mission. Well, not Emma. Mike, he's on his own mission to meet up with the retired professor. I don't know if he's retired or like the guy that used to work with uh, the Aza organization. Like he doesn't do it anymore. Now he works with the black dark web and all that so yeah i'm about to jump straight into it because if, if it's hegan versus i that's gonna be a crazy fight so you know what to do if you like to have content make sure you like subscribe comment to the bell on for our ninja comedy playlist so you can know if i will upload new videos next full reaction on patreon a dollar a month to get a full reaction to this and many of the good shows without further ado episode starting in three nah this might be this might be the best fight of the episode i mean it's a series. This might be a mic episode though. He better not fucking die. <laughs> huh? That's him. That's pure hatred in his eyes. <laughs> Hold on, bruh. Is this guy someone in the room or like, cause he got that information right away. What benefits does he get from Hegan going out to try to kill Yamagi? Braves happen the whole time. Hegan's about to be fighting for. Yep, <laughs> so we're killing people. Oh, that mask is hella clean. Paying attention, bro. <laughs> Dang, 
dang. That's not even a human. That's literally a... This nigga over here celebrating the parade. Don't tell me Emma was a double agent this whole time. Damn, they shoot first, ask questions later? Okay. Here, <laughs> said, I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, he's about to start tweaking. What the hell is that? Oh, we're about to fight fight some mechs now. <laughs> Look like a war frame. Come here. Oh, he went straight to it. <laughs> oh, that's that Aza equipment, bruh. Ooh. Why? Yeah, he doesn't even care about this fight, bruh. Look at him smile. Again. Now this is a suicide mission for him. He doesn't give a fuck. about to do is I
Come on, the nigga gave up. Hold on, he could just accepted it. Look at the crows. Episode. That was a good episode. Leaves us kind of on a cliffhanger on who this person was that helped us. Is it the girl that was in the mask with the other leaders for the Asa group with the ninjas? It was like the I forgot the name. It was like Asuka. It was like Asuki. It was like Asuka Asuka, something like that. Is that her that just saved us? I don't know. And then you got Mike. We don't know what's going on with him. He might be dead. <laughs> he might be dead next episode. I like how it ended off on that. Like, they're both kind of in bad situations. And then you got Emma with the... Yeah, I didn't understand that at first. It, I don't know if those were, like, uh, fake identities for people that are spies. So that means Emma's a spy or those were identities the spies would take. So that means Emma could be disposed at, disposable at any time and then they'll take Emma's identity. I don't know. If Emma's a spy, then she's a basically a double agent because she's spying for them, but at the same time spying on them. Or she might be on our side and like I, I don't know. Like she got she liked Mike more than being a spy. I don't know. So that's interesting. We're gonna have to find out more about that. I saw the crows at the end with the bomb came in. The bomb was about to blow up, but the crows went and surrounded it. So the, does that mean Zai was the one spying on the information that was given? At the table with Yamagi, the Asuka leader, all of that. Because the crow was watching that meeting. Or was that he was just there for Yamagi's protection? I don't know. And you still got, you got Yamagi. He was smiling when he saw how Higan was going after him while bloodthirsty. I don't know if he's smiling like, because he's like, yo, this is what we created. This is the pure ninja. Well, it can't be pure because he was the one that broke the rules at the beginning. Or he was just like, I'm about to kill him. I don't know. But this was a really good episode. I liked it. I'm ready for episode six. And yeah, I, I really got nothing else to say. So you know what to do if you like type of content. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment to the bell on for our Ninja Comedy playlist. So you can know if I will upload episode 6. Without further ado, MBK out.